Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from xvidautomation.com and welcome to part 21 of our C# -sharp for automation testing advanced video series. And in this video we'll be talking about links and its awesomeness with projections. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 20 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. All right, so let's get started. Select projections. The projection refers to the operation of transforming an object into a new form that often consists only of those properties that will be subsequently used. By using the projections, you can construct a new type that is built from each object. So projections is very, very helpful while you are going to represent an object of some type into some other type. This is going to be used from there as that name, something like that. So the standard query operators, which is going to use this projection operation or select and select many. And you can see that right now we have an user and they have the properties like name, age, phone number, etc. And if I want to get all their name and age and I want to use that particular property like name as first name and similarly phone as phone number, then I want to transform or project that particular value into a different object. So if I want to do a projection into a different object, like the name as the first name and phone as the phone number, then I can probably do something like the one shown in the screenshot here. And you can see that I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm using a new followed by a braces and then I'm doing this first name is equal to user at name and phone number is equal to user at phone. The new of the open braces and closes braces is actually what is called as anonymous type. So basically it won't have a name of a type, but it has a type within it. So basically new followed by the type name is what is going to be a class. But here we don't really have a type. Basically it's an anonymous type, which is not represented by any name. So that is why it is new of open braces and closed braces over there. Right? So this is what is select projection. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we are working in our previous video. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a projection this time. So in order to do a projection using the query based operation, I'm just going to do it this. So I'm going to uncomment this piece of code. And let's say I want to use the name of the user as first name. And I want to use the phone as the phone number, something like that, which is more understandable for me in our upcoming code of this particular uh, method. Then probably I can do or project the particular method using this. So select of instead of user, I can just do a new of open braces and closed braces there. And then you can see that instantly it is showing us a message saying empty anonymous type. So the anonymous type here is empty. Right? So it knows that this type of your type, the user list is actually of an anonymous type. So you can see the A, there's an apostrophe of A, which is an anonymous type basically. So now you're going to specify something like first name is equal to user dot name. Similarly, phone number is equal to user dot uh, phone. Right. So now if I do this and now if I go over here, you can see that still it is the select is actually returning as an anonymous type. Earlier it was returning as a user type and now it is returning as an anonymous type. A is new of string first name and long of phone number. So it is automatically getting what type it is from the intelligence itself. And you can see how it is intelligent visual studio is to show us what type it is. And now if I want to get the list of particular users, Basically, you cannot just do something like user.name here that we are doing before. Now you should do it in a different way. So user dot, you can see that we have first name and phone number. Wow, super cool, right? So the Visual Studio is much intelligent enough to tell us what anonymous method that you have created. So it is first name and the phone number. So user with has phone number something like this right and user dot phone number 
now if I run this piece of code, you can see that the user Sam has phone number this and Jacob has phone number that, right? That's easy it is. So that's how you can do a projection of an object from one type to another using the select projections available within link. And this is really helpful while you work with transforming an object or column name of a spec flow table in one type to another type. So once again, this is how projection is and it is very, very helpful in automation as well. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.